This is a guided meditation for navigating separation anxiety and suicidal considerations after surviving a traumatic loss. Before we begin, it's important to note that this is not a substitute for professional medical advice or treatment. If you're experiencing severe emotional distress, please seek immediate professional help. And also be mindful that at any point during this exploration, if you need to take a gentle pause and apply that soothing havening touch with the CPR for the amygdala exercise to wrap a warm fuzzy blanket of care around your brain, please do so. As we begin, I invite you to find a quiet space, comfortably sitting or lying down Closing your eyes if that feels best. You may also find some place in the room and hold a soft gaze on that location or allow your vision to gently shift however it needs to. As always, if you welcome in the havening touch, it will soothe and calm your mind and body, deepening this experience. The havening touch includes four different locations Gently rubbing your palms together as though you're washing them under warm water. A soothing, havening hug, crossing your arms across your chest, fingertips on your shoulders, and gently moving your hands down your elbows and repeating that motion. Or moving windshield wipers across your eyebrows, or as though you're wiping away tears on your cheeks and repeating those motions in any order that feel safe and comfortable for you. Let's begin. I'll invite you to start by grounding yourself in this moment. Feel the surface beneath you. Welcome in a deep breath through your nose. Hold for a count of three, two, one. And gently exhale slowly through your mouth. And let's repeat this loving breath three times. Breathing in, three, two, one. Release, four, three, two, one. Breathing in. Three, two, one, release, four, three, two, one, and one more, breathing in, two, three, very good, and release, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Allow your breath to return to its natural loving cadence. As we proceed, you might notice thoughts or feelings related to your loss or separation. That's okay. Our purpose here is not to eliminate these feelings, but to create a space where you may be in relationship with them without judgment and without overwhelm. Returning your focus to your breath. Notice as it enters and leaves your nostril or your mouth. Observe the rise and fall of your chest and your stomach as you breathe. Begin to scan your body, starting from the tips of your toes and working your way up to the top of your head. Notice any areas where you feel tension or discomfort. As you release your breath, imagine releasing that tension as though you are exhaling the energy away 
and breathing in, expanding calm and ease into your mind and body system. Breathing in, a sense of soothing relaxation and releasing tension or stress with each exhale. Now imagine a safe space. This could be real or imaginary. A place where you feel completely at ease. Perhaps a beautiful beach with a gently lapping ocean of turquoise and the warm sun upon your skin. Maybe an expansive field of wildflowers, glistening sunlight dancing on the gorgeous petals, and the scent of floral in the air. Perhaps it's a deep, expansive forest full of woodland creatures and towering green trees and the smell of evergreen. Invite your senses to explore your space, however real or imaginary it may be, identifying five things that you're seeing around you or five colors, noticing them quietly in your mind, moving into relationship with each one, And what are four sounds that you might notice in your safe space? The sound of ocean waves, the crackle of leaves under your feet, perhaps the wind gently shifting in the space around you. Continue noticing and expanding your awareness and connection to this environment, allowing it to be as big, bold, and vibrant as you can make it, a space that is purely and fully yours. Now notice that in the sky, you view a few clouds These clouds represent your anxiety, your loss, your feelings of despair. Some clouds may be small and others large, dark and gray. And as you notice them, welcome in a gentle breath breathing in the smells and the sense of your safe space, acknowledging the clouds. And as you release that breath, imagine that as you exhale, they're gently drifting away, making room for clearer skies and brighter days. Know that the clouds will come and go much as your feelings will come and go. For grieving like life is a journey. And there are moments where it is soft and there are moments where it feels large and looming. And notice as you allow your eyes to take in the landscape of your beautiful space that the clouds are but one part of a larger experience of this environment. Just as these feelings of loss and despair are but one experience of the larger journey of your life. I invite you now to find something particularly beautiful and special in your safe space. 
something that represents vibrancy in life, connection or care, whatever it may be, invite that to become the focal point of your awareness now. And as you turn your attention to this experience, know that just as you're able to bring this vibrant experience here and now, the experiences that brought you joy, those that are a part of why you're experiencing the loss now are also accessible. To grieve means we have loved. Remember the sweetness that came before the loss. Remember to cultivate that. And I know it may be hard. And as we lean in and remember the joys, those memories too will become strong and sweet and help our mind build the future that we want. And notice that in this space, there are many connecting sensory experiences of colors and sounds, experiences expanding. And all of that represents your resilience. And I'd like to invite you to explore this statement, try on the possibility, saying quietly in your mind's eye as you notice the safe, expansive space, what if I am resilient? What if I have the strength to get through this? What if I am resilient? What if I have the strength to get through this? Gently welcoming another breath and noticing again the possibility. I can be resilient. I do have the strength to get through this. I can be resilient. I do have the strength to get through this. And knowing that you are deserving of giving yourself the kind, caring love of the world around you, of reaching out for love and support if you need it, and knowing that it is okay to ask for help. In the dark moments, often others become our light until the light once again shines within us. And the words start to ring true. I am resilient and I have the strength to get through this. I invite you to welcome in another gentle, loving breath. And as you release that exhale, gently bring your awareness back to your surroundings. Start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and when you're ready, open your eyes. Thank you for taking the time to join me on this journey today. More importantly, thank you for taking the time to give yourself the loving care that you so deserve and that your mind and body needs. Healing is a journey. Recovery takes time and recovery is possible. And remember, you are resilient and you have the strength to get through this.